Well, it just had to be done, didn't it? Welcome to this second inform Ollie Watkins player review. He, of course, got this inform for scoring two goals against my team, Arsenal. If you want to get your hands on some coins to buy players like those featuring in this video, check out my sponsor in the description, igvault.com, and if you use the code Kieran at checkout, you'll get yourself a pretty big discount. So let's just get straight into things, shall we? I actually reviewed the first Inform Oi Watkins when that came out. I think that was actually the first Inform review I did on FIFA 21, so a uh, fun bit of trivia for you there. I'm sure that'll really make your day. So um, in comparison to the first Inform, he's been given quite a good boost, especially in the shooting department, which is a key boost because obviously he's a goal scorer he's a striker so here is the second in form on footbin and if we highlight the first in form we can see where the boosts have been given it's a big plus five in that shooting area which is very nice a couple of plus fives and a plus six in the finishing and positioning which is good to see plus three um, acceleration plus two sprint speed and um, in terms of dribbling he had some nice boost there as well plus fours and plus fives and then uh, the passings also received a couple of nice upgrades as well so all in all i think this is a pretty decent boost and now this second in form does look very very usable now in terms of a chem style for this card if i'm being honest i was thinking finisher might be the one to go for just to boost his dribbling a bit more but the most popular one on footbin currently is hawk so um, we're going to go ahead and try that out on him and uh, see how we get on. So this is the side we're going to be using Watkins in. Let's now have a look at this card. In terms of traits, there is nothing to discuss. Uh, the guy's got a three-star skill move set and a four-star weak foot and has high, high work rates. Uh, the previous owner of this card didn't have a good time, clearly, but uh, hopefully we can have a bit more fun with him. So in-game stats, what is there to like? Well, first of all, shooting looks pretty good. Nice finishing of 89, attack finishing of 91, and shot power of 85. But, but, despite having some good shooting stats, his composure is just 70. So, uh, when under pressure, this guy's shooting could come a bit unstuck. So, we have to be aware of that. We've got to try and keep him in space when using him. His passing attributes don't look anything too special, to be honest. Long passing looks pretty meh. And uh, the shot passing looks okay. So, uh, we'll see how we get on with his distribution. Um, in terms of his other dribbling attributes, he's actually got really high agility of 92, but he does stand at 5 foot 11, so he's not like the shortest of players. So uh, it'll be interesting to see how that agility does play out in game. Physically, though, he looks very impressive. A really good jumping of 94, very good stamina of 93, and decent strength of 81. But his aggression of 39 um, isn't ideal, so. Uh, We'll see how the physicals play out as well. So I'm actually very interested just to see how this card gets on in game because uh, some of the stats are, um, yeah, they're, they're, they're definitely intriguing. Anyway, let's stop rambling. Let's get into some matches. Let's see what second in form Ollie Watkins can do in game. For Watkins' debut, we come up against a very, very good Premier League side, which has a really attacking look to it. But his backline is also very good with Van Dijk and Joe Gomez. So, uh... Yeah, it's going to be a test to get past them too. There's a chance on the break. Lucas puts it through for Watkins, who's now got the opportunity to break away. We're going to try and come inside. We're going to cut back. Cross goal strike, unfortunately, closed down by Gomez. As Mane gets down the wing, has he got the option to whip it into the box? Yes, he has. Watkins with the header. Oh, it's a good save. It's a great save from Lloris. Finds the ball to the feet of Watkins, who we're going to try and open up for a shot. He's actually lost the ball to Gomez and then won it back. And then with a finesse shot, he's hit the Denver bar. There we go. Ball's whipped in. Chance for Watkins from the corner. And he does net. I knew as soon as that corner was taken where the ball was ending up. Great finish by the forward from the head. Well, at the break, sadly, we are 2-1 down. Um, and one of the goals was an absolutely ridiculous one to concede. But uh, confident we can come back in the second half and hopefully we'll do exactly that. I see how. Finds Watkins in a bit of space. Can we get the finesse away? Yes, we can. But Lurie saves here just gonna try and keep possession we do exactly that Martial does the same and here's Lucas now we're just gonna try and dribble through and we've done exactly that and that's a great goal a bunch of the attack involved there a bit of close control and uh, we now have a bit of comfort in this game to Watkins oh he's, he's just getting aggressive and stupid of his defending now and we're just gonna take full advantage Watkins oh not enough power in the shot there I felt like I put enough on it but apparently not he just got super aggressive now and we're just going to take full advantage. Look at that. He knew the game was over. He knew it. And there is a full time. So we get ourselves a 5-3 win towards the end. 
Um, thought Watkins did okay in that game. Did think he blew a couple of chances which he maybe could have took though. But um, all in all, a relatively solid performance. Obviously, the goal at the end was pretty much a gimme. Um, my opponent, I think, had just given up at that point. But uh, it is what it is. A nice win to get his kicked off then. Okay then, in the next outing, we have two icons to deal with. We've got Varon, who I've not seen. Or I don't even think I saw him in last year's FIFA, to be honest. So he's a rarity. Maybe he's good this year. Who knows? And there's also Zola up front. And the backline is that typical foot champs backline, which features Joe Gomez and Rafael Varane. In behind for Watkins. Need to get some space to shoot there. A very tight angle, but we'll take off the shot on the receives. Watkins still got the ball. Done well to keep the ball there, and he sets up Kante, and I really should have passed. The man, Lucas, was free. Should have passed that. Chance maybe to break now, just before half time. Watkins in behind. I could do with some support because Watkins isn't actually that rapid in game. But Mane has an opportunity. Tight angle. Get a corner. Well, at half time, as you can see, we are 2 0 down. If the opponent scored 2 in one half, we can do the same, and hopefully, we will do that in the second half. We're going to change formation to the 4 1 2 1 2 and be a bit more attacking. And uh, it's going to be Watkins up front with Martial. And um, we're going to have to bring someone on at camp. That person is going to be Ansu Fati, who's going to come on the wing, and Lucas will go at camp. Ansu Fati with the instant impact. And there is Watkins just eluding. His um, you know, defensive whatever it is marker to get the goal. Ansu Fati instant impact, and Watkins does get on the score sheet. Oh, balls come to Watkins. Can he finish? Oh, just didn't get the shot away in time. Chance. Watkins once more in the box. Finds a bit of space for himself. Left footed strike. Oh, good save from Larice. Balls whipped in. Chance at the front post for Watkins. Oh. Lucas has done so well there. He really has. And Watkins. Oh, how have we not scored there? Oh, there's a chance. Watkins has been put through. That was such a weird through ball. What are we going to do? We're going to go for the near post and we're going to score. Oh, wow. I was worried. I was worried there. In my head, all I was thinking is 70 composure. 70 composure. Just make the right decision of us. It's not going to go in. Luckily, we did enough. Oh, what an equaliser. The game was like, so pretty much from kickoff, he scored. And then after that, I'm like, okay, we don't have much time. We cannot lose possession. And that's why I was in silence, just concentrating fully, making sure I got the goal. And Watkins has done really well to bang that one in, to be fair. And the game ends in a draw. Um, yeah, it, it, honestly, I reckon I could have won that game, but it um, just wasn't to be. But I'm very happy with the performance of Watkins, especially in that second half. He definitely benefited from having a striker partner, in my opinion. So, now we've given second in form Ollie Watkins a run out, it's time to give a verdict on the card, and all in all, I think it's a decent item, um, I don't think it's like an outstanding card, a top tier card or anything like that, but it's, it's a card that I think could do an alright job in Rivals. Ultimately though, would I use this card in foot champs? Probably not, and there's a pretty obvious reason why I, I wouldn't do that, and why I wouldn't advise other people to do that. But um, that's definitely not saying that this card couldn't do a job in champs, but if you're you know, really pushing and you're really focusing on champs, it's just not a striker I would advise using because of that composure rating, and that is obviously a big thing in a striker. Um, but anyway, we'll discuss that more momentarily. Let's first begin with the pace. Um, it feels quick, like it definitely doesn't feel slow, but um, I wouldn't say that it feels 90 pace in game. Um, so something to note there. I think that's because his acceleration is quite far below his sprint speed, so he just doesn't get to that max speed um, all that quickly. It takes him a yard or two to actually hit um, a top speed. Um, in terms of shooting, when in space, he is a pretty good finisher, to be honest. Um, I liked his finesse shots, I liked his power shots as well, and the guy certainly can put the ball in the back of the net with both his left and his right foot. But when he's under pressure, his shooting just lacks power at times, and that and that really can take away from his shooting ability, which is a, a bit frustrating, and I think you saw that in some of the footage. Luckily, though, his positioning is quite good, and he does get into good areas, so he is a player that can create many chances for not just himself, but also others when um, playing. So I liked his off-the-ball movement, which is nice. Um, his passing is... All right, but it's limited. Short passing games, um, good enough, I'd say, for this stage. But um, long passing and through balls are pretty, pretty poor. So uh, yeah, definitely not a distributing striker. But um, I think he works well in a two-strike formation though, because that way he can use the short passing to uh, do one-twos to uh, get up the field. When it comes to dribbling, this guy is. Oh, he's kind of hit and miss, to be honest, like because on some occasions, and once again, you will have seen this if you watch the footage, he does some really good turns and feels very agile and controls the ball well, but on other occasions, 
he just loses the ball like just when turning. It's, it's, it's kind of frustrating to be honest because like I say, in some moments feels absolutely fantastic with possession, but in others just not that great. So overall, I'd say his dribbling is a bit un inconsistent, which is a bit unfortunate because like I just keep saying, um, when it's good, it feels really good, but when it's bad, it's uh, it's probably going to end up resulting in you losing the ball. So uh, something to note there. But um, I actually liked him for hold up play. I thought he was quite good at that. As long as you can avoid um, being under too much pressure from defenders, he can hold up the ball rather nicely. And that brings us on to his physical stats, which um, he does have good strength and he can battle rather well in game. And uh, he's also got really good stamina. Like, this guy's got high, high work rates and he is like naturally moving quite a bit, but he just didn't seem to tie for me, which is a benefit. And also aerially, I thought he was pretty solid too. He's 5'11", so he's tall-ish. He's obviously not massive, but um, that combined with his really good jumping stat means he can win plenty of aerial duels which is very very good he's a player that you can aim for from kickoffs and uh, not kickoffs um from goal kicks sorry uh, from corners and from other set pieces also he's a threat from just general crossing as well which is nice because he's got good heading accuracy so um all in all i think this is a decent striker card i don't think it's anything too special and um, that composure definitely holds him back and the inconsistencies in the dribbling also aren't too ideal either but um still the card does score goals you saw that and uh, I feel like it could do a job as maybe as a late super sub for some people. But if I'm being honest, I just wouldn't advise this card for foot champs. I think it can do a job in rivals, like I said earlier. But in champs, in those key moments, the composure could let you down. I'm not saying it will, but it could. And there's a chance. And to be honest, it's considering this card costs 100k right now, there are many Premier League strikers that you can get for less than that. That will probably do a better job uh, than at this Watkins card in game, especially the way that FIFA 21 is. Like you could probably pick up a more meta player, like a Gabriel Jesus or someone like that, for instance. Anyway, I'm rambling. Let's wrap this video up. If you've enjoyed the video, I found it useful. Please do leave a like rating on it in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts on the item. Subscribe if you are new. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.